Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinkerer Studio and welcome to the third tutorial of the UI and Game Art for Beginners series. In this tutorial we will be learning how to make a scroll in Adobe Illustrator. So let's create a new document that is 600 pixels square. Use the rectangle tool, which you can either click on it in the toolbar or you can just hit your M on the keyboard and draw out a rectangle that's 600 pixels square. Go ahead and remove the border and fill the rectangle with a dark gray. I'm going to use 383838. And open your layers panel and rename layer one background and lock the layer. Now make a new layer above the background and name this layer scroll. Now use the rounded rectangle tool, which is under your rectangle tool and go ahead and draw a rounded rectangle. We need to make sure that this is 50 pixels wide and 175 pixels high. Then use the live corners option, round the corners to 25 pixels. Use the gradient tool and go ahead and fill the new rounded rectangle with a linear gradient. Want to change the gradient angle to negative 90 so the black will be on the bottom. Go ahead and click on the white color stop and change the color to RGB 2522333 which is the third gradient from the right in the top row. Now click on the black color stop and we want to change this to the color of RGB 2471430 which is the fifth swatch from the right side. Switch to your selection tool, select the original rounded rectangle, hold down shift and alt, and make a copy and move it to the left. And make sure it's overlapping the original rounded rectangle by about 50%. Now you want to move the copied rounded rectangle behind the original one. So go to Object, Arrange, Send it Back. Now go ahead and change the height of the copied rounded rectangle to 150 pixels. Open up your gradient panel if it's not already opened. Click on the left color stop and we want to change this to RGB 149857 which is the fifth gradient from the left in the third row. and go ahead and click on the right color stop and we're going to change this to RGB 965619 which is the seventh swatch from the third row. Now select both the rounded rectangles and group them together. Just go to Object Group. Open the Layers panel and rename this group handle.
make a copy of the handle using Alt and Shift and move it to the right. Rotate the copied handle by 180 degrees. Go to Object, Transform, Rotate 180. Hit your Enter key. Now we need to double click the right handle to go into isolation mode. Then double click on the top part of the handle, the yellow part. And open up your gradient panel. And we need to swap the color swatches since we rotated this by 180 degrees. Then click this little arrow to go back one level. Double click on the back part of the handle. And go ahead and open up the gradient panel and again swap the, the swatches around. And then just double click anywhere in the pasteboard. Okay, now go ahead and grab both handles and just move them up towards the top of the background and try and center them the best that you can. Now choose the rectangle tool which again is M on the keyboard and draw out a rectangle between the two handles. Now your gradient should still be that the brown colors. So open up the gradient panel. Make sure that you have the angle set to 90 degrees. So we can make sure that the lighter color is on top. Use the direct selection tool, which is A on your keyboard, and select the bottom two anchor points. Click once on one of them and hold shift and click on the other one. Then use your down arrow and move the anchor points down to extend the scroll. Make a new layer in the layers panel above the scroll layer and name it cutout. Go back to your rectangle tool, which is M on the keyboard, and click once on the pasteboard. And make a square that is 50 pixels in width and height. Now we want to rotate this square, so go to Object, Transform, Rotate. We want to rotate it by 45 degrees. Now move the square over the bottom edge of the scroll. And what we want to do is make multiple copies of the square, placing them at random heights along the bottom of the scroll. Now go ahead and select all the copies of these squares and group them together. Object Group. Select the square group and the scroll and open your Pathfinder tool. And we want to select minus front which is the second icon under the shape modes. And now open your layers panel 
move the cutout layer below the scroll layer and lock it and then go back to your scroll layer. Select the left handle and we're going to add a drop shadow. So go to effect, stylize, drop shadow. We want the mode to be multiply, the opacity 35%, X offset 10 pixels, Y offset 0 pixels, blur 5 pixels, and we'll leave the color as black. And click OK. Now click on the left handle, go to effect, stylize, drop shadow, and the only thing we need to change is the X offset, and we need that to be negative 10 pixels and click OK. And there you have a very simple scroll that you can use in your game. Hope you found this useful. Have a good day.